order at Costco. You'll see in a second, and I'm very excited. <laughs> a, my Costco gas was just $4.79 instead of, you know, $5.99 like it has been the past couple of months. Two, I love Costco. This is zoomed in. Three, we're gonna try every Costco food court item that's available, which I'm very hyped for because I love Costco food and I just love Costco in general. Plus, next week's episode of Bites of History is also, look at this Tesla. That's cool. Next week's episode of Bites of History is all about the Costco food court. So I thought doing a little themed moment would be fun. Let's go. We got one of everything. We got a smoothie, a cold brew frappy thing, which I'm hype on, an ice cream for dessert, a hot dog, obviously. And since this was all a bit of a nightmare to carry, I got my ketchup, mustard, and relish on this. They don't have the chopped up onions anymore, which is a bummer, but I get because of COVID. I got a Sierra Mist because they're a Pepsi company. We get into why they are a Pepsi company or like a Pepsi provider in the Bites of History episode. So if you want it, if you're dying to know, I tell you why there. That's already great. Everyone at Costco is always so wonderful and so lovely, and I love Costco. We got a churro, also for dessert. Oh, we got a chicken bake, which, oh my God, I've not had in like six years because I used to have this gross boyfriend who like would only ever get chicken bake. So like if I wanted to like go to eat with him, he would only do that. Uh, we got a gigantic slice of pizza for $2. Also all of this was only, it was under $20. Okay, so we got a little bit of grease going on, but what are you gonna do? Each Costco pizza, I'll give you a little fact. Each Costco pizza has a pound and a half of cheese on it and exactly 60 pepperoni. I'd be lying to you if I said she wasn't a little greasy, <laughs> which you guys could have seen, but. Wait, the crust is actually so good. I think if I had done the cheese instead of the pepperoni, it'd be a lot less like, you know, drippy. For $2, that's pretty insane. Oh my God, they have compostable straws here. <gasps> Go off Costco. We got a Sierra Mist because obviously, why wouldn't we? I love this hot dog and I have loved this hot dog for years. It's so good. It is absolutely insane. In the podcast, we talk about how much money they lose on this hot dog. Keeping it $1.50 for the past 40 years or 30-ish years has been insane. Can we focus? Hello. They also make their own hot dogs because buying them was getting too pricey. It's a perfect hot dog because here's what's up. Oh, is it way too bright? It was getting way too pricey for Costco to buy hot dogs from a third party. I'm gonna finish this whole fucking hot dog and I still have all this food to eat. It was getting too pricey for them to buy it from third party vendors, so they were like, fuck it, we'll make our own. And they're great. Let's try the smoothie. It's our little compostable straws. Thank you so much, Costco. It feels like they're made with like rice or something, like one of those, because they still feel sorta like durable. Oh, LOL. So much mustard on my face. That's a really good smoothie. Obviously, you can taste that there's a good amount of sugar in there, and that's probably why I like it so much. But that's not bad, my friends. Let's have one more bite of hot dog before we move on to the chicken bake, which I genuinely do not remember what it tastes like. I'm gonna tell you something right now. Hot dogs get far too bad of a wrap. They are so good. For those of you who may not know what a chicken bake is, it is a dough wrapped item topped with Parmesan cheese, filled with Parmesan cheese, Caesar dressing, chicken, and bacon. And it's better than I remember. It's definitely an absolute load of food for $3. $3? $4. Still. I'm more of a hot dog gal. I'm gonna be honest, it's very good. It's not necessarily my preferred taste flavor profile. I'm so happy they're letting me do this here. There have been a couple Costco employees that have walked by and just don't seem like they care. So shout out to this empire of majesty. For anyone wondering, I'm usually only a mustard girl, mustard, relish, onions, but on a Costco dog, a little ketchup. So all of these things are so far good and for the price, absolutely sensational. Oh, the cool Tesla just drove away. Did you guys see it? Hot damn, that's a good hot dog. 
Moving on to the dessert portion of the evening. What is this like wrap guy? Like a, it's called a cold brew frappuccino, cold brew something. Wow, tastes like coffee ice cream. Oh, that is very good though. Okay, time for a churro, which is also $1.50 for a churro that's this big. Are you kidding? No, 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 no. Oh, wow, that is way flakier than I remember. Oh my God, oh my God. Look how flaky that is. That is like Flake Town, USA, and population a billion. I think they changed the churros. Something's different. Cause my mom and I used to get these all the time when we would come shop. And they tasted more like the Disneyland churros, like kind of like a dough that they fry instead of like a flaky pastry. Wow, I am thoroughly impressed. That's amazing. It's also maybe like 1,200 degrees outside. So I know I'm sweating. I don't need to be reminded. <laughs> and then here's just like your classic ice cream sundae, which I'm certain I should have tried first. I mean, it's great, obviously. Dude, this is fing 250. Oh my God. You get a, is this 16 ounces? Hey, I think this is 16 ounces of like ice cream and chocolate. You can also get it with raspberry, but I'm more of a chocolate kind of gal. Oh my God, what if? <gasps> what if we do like a little of this? A little affogato situation. Yay, get the f out of here, the affogato. Hold the Kirkland phone. I need to, I need to talk to the CEO. I need to talk to the food court. This is something. Oh my God. Here, Bruce. Oh my God. Uh. Oh, I need to put this down. You know, sometimes I do these videos and it's sort of like, I've made this marinara sauce a thousand times. I, I just want them to have this recipe as well. And then there are videos like this where I'm like, was this for them at all? Or have I just finally fulfilled my dream of getting everything on the Costco menu? I think we all know the answer to that one. I mean, I'm going to finish a hot dog. Wowza. You guys, this is absolutely insane. For $19.10, I got a slice of pizza, a hot dog and a soda, a mocha cold brew thing, a slushie, a chocolate sundae, a churro and a chicken bake. Under $20. And like, is it the most nutritious food in the world? No, but are you thinking that anytime you get pizza or hot dog or ice cream? This is like, I mean, it's unmatched for a reason and there's a lot of like, business and history behind that reason, which we get into on Tuesday in Bites of History, but like, this is really good. <laughs> this is amazing stuff. And I know that they keep the price what it is to like, you know, bring people in and stuff, but I don't know. I, I am 100% certain in my heart of hearts and in my bones that part of like Costco's mission statement is like, it's also really nice to still have like, like, yes, we want people to come in and spend more money and et cetera, et cetera, but like, it's also really nice to still have a f***ing hot dog and a soda for $1.50. I love Costco. And I also just have a ton of positive memories with my mom at Costco. We always go to Costco together. This is insane. I love it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's like quick and short. I'm just trying to make sure I don't get in trouble here. <laughs> so I tried to wrap it up relatively quickly. I will tell you this, the most surprising item was the churro. I think it got even better than it used to be. And my favorite item is still the hot dog and the soda because you can't go wrong. It's a gig it's like a foot long in a great soft sesame seed bun. And it comes with a soda. I got my little Sierra Mist. Get out of town. Let me know what you would like me to try everything up next. I cannot wait. This was awesome. Thank you for being here. Please make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, share this video with somebody else who loves Costco, and make sure that you tune in on Tuesday for Bites of History, the history of the Costco food court. Uh, oh, also, did you like this kind of like thematic video X podcast crossover? If you did, maybe we can do more. Okay, love you guys, have a great one, goodbye.